नानम परमम धेयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम Today I will uh, develop a theory of Hilbert Samuel polynomials and study the dimension of graded rings in general. So, just to motivate few sentences in the beginning, uh, remember that when uh, when k is a field and polynomial algebra over k in n variables. We have seen the dimension of this ring is n. Um, the k vector space k x one to x n. And when I write suffix m, these are the homogeneous polynomials, monomials, um, vector space of monomials of degree less equal to m. So these vector space has dimension. Dimension of this vector space. Let me just abbreviate this k x suffix m. This vector space can consist of all homogeneous all polynomials of degree less equal to m, and it is obvious that monomials of degree less equal to m form a k basis of this vector space, and the number of monomials of degree less equal to m are precisely. This is precisely n choose m plus m. I choose n, and this is a polynomial. Is a polynomial in m of degree. n so in general also i want to do that given a graded ring so more generally what i want to what we want to study is when you have a graded ring graded ring means uh, the model is a polynomial ring And the grading is given by the degrees. So, a ring is called graded if it has a decomposition like this. R n, n is in n. So this is a decomposition as abelian groups, and also it satisfies this obvious. If I take R n multiply by R m, this is contained in R. n plus m so this in particular these are not is a subring and all, all these rns all these abelian groups rns are are not models so such a ring is called a graded ring and also to be more precise it is n graded so n is the index for the gradation more generally one can also talk about uh, grading numbered by a monoid so this is a simplest monoid n is a simplest monoid with addition see it's a ring so the decomposition is abelian groups 
is a direct sum of these abelian groups. There is a multiplication there. So, to multiply the elements in R, it is enough if you multiply by elements in Rn and Rm. So, that multiplication is given to us and with the property that it is if you would take a multiplication of an element from Rn and Rm, it goes inside Rn plus M R n plus n. So, this is a typical generalization of the polynomial rings. So, for example, if you take a homogeneous polynomial of degree n and homogeneous polynomial of degree m, then the, the product is homogeneous of degree n plus m. So, imitating that, generally one defines a graded ring as a direct sum of R n, where n is varying over n and with the property that R n times R m uh, is contained in R n plus m. So, in particular this gives R naught is a subring of R and R n are all R models. So, in this case uh, in the above polynomial case R naught is a field actually. Therefore, we could talk about the vector space dimension and so on. So, let us do little bit quickly about graded rings and models. So, let us digress about graded rings. and models. Model example is a polynomial ring. Okay, a graded, so let us define definition. A graded ring A is a direct sum decomposition of the additive group A plus So, A is direct sum A n, A n is in it. So, graded ring A is a ring together with a direct sum decomposition of the additive group A plus this and which satisfies such that A n times A m, this is the multiplication given in the ring that is contained in A n plus m for all n m in n. So, in particular A naught is a subring. and all these a n's are a naught models. Elements of a n are called homogeneous elements of degree n. So, typical example is a polynomial ring or any ring A naught. A naught is any ring and if you take the polynomial ring A naught x, the grading is given by now, this is A naught x power n. 
only one variable I am taking. So, this is these are the grid and obviously multiplication is the same as x power n. And so, if you know this then you can generate the whole multiplication. Okay, now ah, as I said it sometimes it is convenient to consider this is called n graded ring. n graded. Sometimes it is convenient to consider z graded or more generally any gamma graded where gamma is arbitrary semi uh, monoid. So, the numbering will be denoted by some, some monoid in that. Okay, so, this I do not know whether I will have occasion to, to take generally general monoid, but certainly n graded will be uh, useful. Okay, so, uh, now another definition is graded module. So, you to, con to define graded module you need an underlying ring to be graded. So, let A is A n be graded ring and A module M together with a direct sum decomposition of the additive group of M is called A graded A module if A times N times M M this should be contained in M N plus M for all N M in natural numbers. Right, what more do I need? Now, um, uh, when do you call um, uh, sub sub module as sub module of a graded module to be graded? Ah, before I forget, these elements of similar to the graded ring elements of M M. are called homogeneous elements of degree m. Okay. So, the sub module a sub module and a sub module. So, now graded ring is fixed in the notation. So, an A sub module N of M and M is graded is called a graded sub module if, if I take the intersections of N with the homogeneous components M M of M, then this direct sum is precisely everybody. So, in other words, if you look at this direct sum, this, this additive subgroups of N, that direct sum is precisely N. That means, every element of N, you can write it as uh, uh, sum, sum of homogeneous elements from N in a unique way. So, the simple lemma will illustrate. So, 
lemma so m graded a module or a graded ring a and n is a sub module of m then the following conditions are equivalent one m n is a graded sub module of m two n is generated by homogeneous elements and 3 whenever if y belong to n then certainly it belongs to m so y will have a decomposition like this so y 0 plus y 1 plus 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 y r with y is it in mi so if you take y then these small y is are called homogeneous components of this y then all the homogeneous components y i belong to n for all i from 0 to r then it is a then it is a graded sub module so i will not prove this so proof is very simple just check from definition easy verification from definitions all right so graded uh, graded so modules of the ring itself they are sub modules of the ring are ideals so the graded sub modules are precisely graded ideals or also i will use the term homogeneous ideals so let's see couple of examples if i take a to be the polynomial ring say a uh, say a0x or if you want you can simply take a not to be k so polynomial in one variable over a field then the ideal generated by x this is homogeneous ideal because it's generated by homogeneous element whereas if i take ideal generated by something like this x square plus x this is not homogeneous ideal because this element has two homogeneous components one is x square the other is x one has degree 2 the other has degree 1 and neither of them belong to this ideal therefore it is not a homogeneous ideal and you could do it more variables also so this you can do this for polynomial ring in many variables and just to, uh, to say some 
the grading we have considered here or so far is standard grading standard means that means to the polynomial we have attached the usual degree as a grading index but whereas one can do a different grading for example for example another example let us do it suppose i take polynomial ring in two variables x and y and suppose i now give a grading so degree of x i say it is 2 and degree of y is 3 suppose i declare that then you can for any polynomial you can decide what the grading uh, grade is uh, what the degree is so that is the grading index for example now x square will have degree uh, grading index what 4 uh, and if i take x square or x cube minus y square this monomial will have degree 6 and this also will have degree 6 so this will become a homogeneous homogeneous of degree 6 so in this when i try to write the decomposition for this ring as an n in n this an should be generated as a uh, by uh, any the vector space k vector space gen with basis whose monomials have degree n but weighted degree so weight 2 to x and weight 3 to y so this is uh, some for example there is only degree one element in this a1 is missing a1 is zero actually And so on. So sometimes this is also useful. This give a arbitrary natural numbers to the variables and consider the grading, or not even natural numbers, even the integers. So sometimes even useful to have minus uh, weighting. Uh, so this, for example, this polynomial is not homogeneous in a usual way. but in this case in this uh, new degrees it became homogeneous so that is useful for computing computation of dimension or other invariants of the ring so i think i will uh, recall whenever i need more about graded rings and models there is i will not do exhaustive thing now and then what i want to do is i want to do i want to attach a polynomial to a graded module so what what we would like to do is to each graded module so our graded ring is fixed to h to each m which is graded and and the grading of m i would allow to be negative integers also with the same same definition now that definition doesn't so it's only thing we need is this condition an times am is containing n plus m for all n m n natural number and m to be integer may make sense so to such each such module i want to attach a polynomial with coefficients in rational numbers with rational coefficients and the degree of that polynomial i want to relate to the dimension that is the whole idea of this full section and as a result as the immediate corollary you will see it is finite because it is degree of some polynomial and therefore cruel dimension will be finite so whereas it was not clear from a definition of a cruel dimension 
that it is if at all it is finite. So we have proved it for polynomial ring over a field or a finite type k algebras it is finite but in general definition of a crude dimension does not immediately say that it is always finite and in fact it may not be finite but for this class of rings it will be finite and that is what the theory I want to develop now. So uh, only assumption I want to make on this module is for large negative integers it is 0 it does not go to on the left side to the all the way non 0. So we will assume here that m suffix m is 0 for m less equal to from fixed edge m0. So that means on the it, it looks like that on the negative side only finitely many terms can be non 0. So it is like Laurent polynomial ring. Okay. I will first consider uh, our ring let me write uh, instead of uh, a notation I will write r as a ring r is r0 r1 etc. This is the gradation. And R0, this R0, I will assume it is, is finite dimensional or R0 is finite K algebra, where K is a field. That is the first I want to do it. Finite as a module, it is a k vector space. So, k vector space, finite dimensional k vector space. So, that is dimension of R0 k, this is finite. So, in a, if, if one gets stuck, one should always go back to the polynomial ring example. In that case, R0 is actually k and R1 is uh, generated by the x1 to xn as a vector space. R2 will be generated by homogeneous monomials of degree 2 and so on. Alright, so um, and I will assume that as a R0, um, R is finite type. R0 algebra. R0 is a subring of R. So, R0, uh, R is a algebra or R0 and as a algebra it is generated by finitely many elements. So, in our standard notation R, R looks like R0 and generated by now I will write the generators as x1 small x1 to xn. And this x1 to xn are homogeneous elements. So, first of all R is finite type R0 algebra. So, R is over R0 generated by finitely many elements and each element is a finite sum of homogeneous elements. So, I will add all the homogeneous components and assume that x1 to xn are all homogeneous and therefore, they will have some degrees. So, those degrees I will call homogeneous elements or positive degrees. gamma 1 to gamma n. So, for example, if all gamma are 1, so uh, one example you should see here. So, typical example will be our polynomial algebra R is the polynomial algebra and 
so this is our r not and these guys are homogeneous of degree 1 so uh, in this case all gamma 1 all this gamma n r1 so such situation in if all gamma is equal to 1 then one calls it is a standard graded algebra standard means all the generators are all homogeneous of degree 1 all right now uh, you take and remember we are considering i want to attach a polynomial that is our aim to a graded module we want to attach some polynomial with rational coefficients so take a module m m could have some uh, negative homogeneous components but not too many so and mm is zero for all m less than m0 for a fixed m0 so then you look at this mm so dimension all these mm's are r not modules and i am assuming that um we assume that uh, all these mms are finitely generated r not modules so therefore an r not is a uh, finite dimensional vector space therefore in turn all these mms are also k vector spaces of finite dimension so dimension of mm as a k vector space this integer this is some integer this i want to denote by hm of m so that means i have defined this means i have defined a map hm from these integers to natural numbers in any m it goes to dimension of mm for large negative this function is zero actually and i consider now the power series so it's 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 easier to you will see it's easier to compute with the power series because that if you take that as a generating function combinatorial formulas will be easier to check if you write in terms of power series so look at this power series this is m in z hm at m and i need a variable for power series right so zm this is a power series with integer coefficient and some may come negative powers right so this is actually this is belongs to let me write and then we'll explain so the integer coefficients power series in z and maybe polynomial in z inverse see it will start with some few negative terms and then the power series so you it's it's a power series with power series coefficient with and a polynomial in minus z power minus 1 so this is called this i want to introduce this is pm pmz so this is called a poincare series series of m 